having that open mind, I think, is is critical because I think that you know while um, this is the will of the people, voters did vote for it. I don't know if there's really a whole lot of knowledge about exactly what psilocybin is. When voters in Denver were first in the United States to approve the decriminalization of psilocybin mushrooms, they also voted in favor of a first of its kind panel to collect data and tell people the effects this might have on the community. Well, seven months after that ordinance passed, the board has finally been set up and now it's up to them to answer the question I think a lot of us have. Now what? Here's Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez. It's called the Denver Psilocybin Mushroom Policy Review Panel, and it's made up of 11 people. Kevin Matthews, who serves on the panel as a proponent of the ordinance, shared the entire compilation in a post on Facebook. He's joined by one other proponent, a certified addictions counselor, a harm reduction advocate, and a criminal defense attorney. The panel also includes representatives of Denver Police and Sheriff's Departments, the DA's office, and two members of the city council. The active participation of community members, I, I guess that's what I am. Like I Councilman Chris Hines, who's still trying to figure out what psilocybin is. I didn't even know how to spell it until until just recently. I, I mean, I, I know very little about it. He says the first order of business is setting up criteria of how law enforcement reports on mushroom arrests by the end of March and by that time in 2021, have a better understanding of what psilocybin can actually do. Does it have a use? What are the health effects, positive and negative? And what are the benefits? Current research by Johns Hopkins is showing positive effects in people suffering from addiction and depression, but more studies need to be done. I think it's something we really should investigate, and, um, and I'm really happy that we are in Denver being a leader and giving the psilocybin a try, you know, figuratively, if not literally. The panel will officially launch on January 15th. Now, the stage isn't completely set. The panel still needs one more city council member on it. They say they are working to fill that by the January 15th start date. Alex and Ryan. I feel like so many people on that panel probably have similar questions to Councilman Hines, but a lot of people, when they talk about psilocybin, try to think about what might happen because this has followed many of the same steps as, as marijuana. Does he have any thoughts on where this is all going? Well, when it comes to legalization, Councilman Hines says he's not definitely saying it's going to happen, but this panel is certainly a start to putting on the path to maybe making legalization a possibility. Yeah, it's something that definitely will be talked about, though it seems a far ways away. We'll see. Jordan, thank you.